We wanted to know, or maybe you start also by introducing yourself, and then we wanted to know what was the meeting discussing about. Yeah, actually, thank you very much. I'm uh, Dominic Kangeng. I'm deputy chair for the state's RRC commission. Yes, uh, what is the meeting discussing? The meeting actually is discussing uh, is a normal partner forums that used to be held in every uh, year in northern Bartazar states. But currently, we have some burning issues that we touch uh, in the meetings uh, about the floods has affected all the areas in northern Bartazar and especially uh, the lowlands uh, comprise of a will east and a will south and a will north. Those areas were really affected uh, by the flood and even everything was being submerged into the water and all the residents are now living on the roads, uh, going to the headquarters of uh, Gongmashar and uh, Wanjok and also Malingalel. Uh, that is the banning agenda that we discussed today. Uh, Yes, actually, we uh, conducted an assessment uh, for a few days ago. We went to uh, Will not. We, we, we found that those affected are uh, 2,521 uh, people are affected, and also to uh, Will East also. We have uh, 11,000 uh, people are affected by parts, and also uh, Will South also. We registered a number of uh, uh, 3,000 people affected which are living in the lowlands areas in Old South County. And also the part of uh, Will Town also are affected the residential area in Naifasha, in, uh, in Dengnial, and even also part of uh, Gateway also is affected, and Aisalam also are affected by flood and even some of the houses collapse. So what is the RRC, RRC doing? Yeah, our plan actually as RRC in the state, we are urging all the partners to come and rescue the situations. And we also we urge uh, the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs in a government of national unity to intervene in order to save our peoples and also the government of Northern Bartazar also in the life of the people. But particularly, uh, we are looking for NGOs, uh, the partners operating with the state in order to help the vulnerable people and the suffering peoples uh, very urgently. So uh, this meeting, this Partners Forum meeting, how will it address these issues? Yeah, this issue actually we uh, make an assessment and we need to make it as a comprise uh, issues that would be known by every partners operating in the state and they told us that they are ready to tackle all the issues and some other people that don't have shelters and as we've been promised by WFP that is going to provide us uh, with the shelters and even also nine food items to those affected people. So uh, this forum, what was it discussing specifically? Is it only the issue of people affected by floods or is it also discussing about the visions of northern Bahadazari states, the government, yeah, to the people and to humanitarian also operating in the area and also to evaluate also the works of humanitarian that are existing in the state to see how far they have gone and how far they serve the people of northern Bahadazari and what are the challenges facing them on the ground actually. So what are we expecting from this meeting? Yeah, we are expecting actually the smooth running of humanitarian work within the states and the government of Northern Bartazal will stand with them hand in hand in order to save life of the people and we also initiate the developmental projects for the NGO side that they can help us and we make, uh, we make our state to be changed in the state of the Republic of South Sudan and we need to work with them in order to assist the area of their weakness and they also to assist us also in the area of our weakness such that to be a real partner saving the people of Northern Africa. So what has RRC talked about displaced people and other issues affecting people in the, in the state? Yeah, we actually spoke uh, some days back uh, about the visions and about also the affected people in Northern Bartazal as RRC. Uh, we conducted a lot of assessment within the five counties plus uh, will municipal residential areas and uh, also we wrote a big report uh, to the national government, especially National RRC Office and uh, the Human Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs in the Government of the Republic of South Sudan. And we also going to serve the governor of the state with a copy so that our people will be saved on time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also had a you received the report and can you confirm? Absolutely, we received a report uh, some hours ago uh, by our coordinator in uh, Wool Center County 
that there are flatters that arrive uh, from Western Equatoria affected uh, by the communal fightings among the tribes there, and some of them were being killed in a crossfire, and even also some of the ladies who have been abducted there in the forest in Western Equatoria, but few of them arrive in our center in a Payam called Awada, and we are planning now to, to, to go for assessment such that we scrutinize the actual people affected by these communal fightings in Western Equatorial states. Uh, we have been there in Awada and the severe situation is not good. So don't you think the assessment will uh, take long and people will continue to suffer? Actually, the assessment will not take long. So maybe uh, to, uh, in, we are planning actually to involve the partners with us, especially WFP and Welanga to go and assess the situation. And we, did, we need also to raise this thing to the uh, concern of the governor of the site that if we have small things that they could be at sea, site that we can wait also for humanitarian uh, to bring something to them. Uh, because they are our brothers, yes, they are Falata, maybe we don't know them, they are from Nigeria, they are from Sudan or from where, but they are human beings, they need to be at sea also uh, to live like us. Uh, this to go there any time soon? Tomorrow, next tomorrow, next week? Yeah, that one will be next tomorrow because tomorrow we are going also for assessment in uh, urban areas like uh, Woolwich and uh, and Woundings and Akanjok areas that we are going to assess the people affected by flood tomorrow and uh, after that also we are going to see the people in our water. Thank you. Thank you very much.